it to your September 5th through the 11th reading. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, guys, let's see what's going on in the beginning of the month over here. Best message, please. For the, the beautiful Virgo, for the 5th through the 11th. Yeah, taking the lead. I like that with the three of wands. Very beautiful energy going on. I love that. That means that you're in control and you know exactly where you're going and exactly what you are wanting, right, as you are taking the lead. Dedicated effort coming out on that. Ooh, with the, the believe and the succeed. Definitely having some great cards coming out over here. Awaiting the result. Blossom with the judgment card over here. There is a little bit of a detach going on. But yet you also have strengthening bonds with the Ace of Pentacles. Very interesting, very, very interesting cards over here, my friends. Let's see. Well, well you know, happy birthday, number one, to all the Virgos out there. Hope you guys do have a beautiful birthday month. So let's get into this. Okay, some kind of like mix up, some, some it looks like it's getting it gets real fast in the very beginning of the month, and then it could be by by the ninth or the tenth. Uh, there's something that feels like the vibe is a little lower, um, so it could feel kind of up and down in the very beginning of the month, right? I think you're gonna be okay. First few few days looks really sunshiny, really bright, and then all of a sudden something kind of slows you down over here where it's like, I got to detach, but yet I'm still going to strengthen the bond over here with the Ace of Pentacles. So it's almost like, ugh, something comes comes up, but it looks like you're going to, whatever that is, you're going to shut it right down. <laughs> Not going to allow that drama, that worry, whatever it is, to take your peace away. Okay. So let's see, taking the lead with the dedicated effort over here is, yes, having the moon over here. So your intention is, your intuition, excuse me, is very high. I think your intentions are good, though, too, um, for whatever it is that you're dreaming up, whatever it is you're doing. Um, so if you do feel like something is a bit of a mystery, that could be where the kind of wishy-washy kind of piece coming in around the, the 10th, the 11th is really kind of worrisome. Um, but with the believe and succeed, it's like I have multiple things that I am doing. It looks like there's a lot of time management on your hands. It looks like there is, it's a busy, it's a, it looks very busy in the very beginning of the, of the month over here for you, for goes. Okay. <clears throat> looks like you have some, some things that are going on that you are definitely in the need to take control of. And I think that's why you're taking the lead. Um, and not letting these things get out of hand. Hmm. So, having the awaiting result is whatever you have manifested, whatever you are taking action on, whatever this dedicated um, effort is that you've been taking a lot of action on, that looks like that's what you're really waiting for to come through, waiting for this all to kind of wrap itself up over here. Right, and so, let's see, as it's blossoming, as it's some kind of inner awareness, as the trumpet, that's the judgment caller, as the trumpet is blowing, is kind of blossoming into this ace of cups for you. So it's kind of crazy because you do see the dove over here, but then you see the dove over here in the release, right? So it's almost like someone is trying to take your piece away. So it does feel like you might need to release something or someone um, that seems to be kind of stepping on your toes, getting, you know, in your way. Could be just a thought. It doesn't have to be a person. Um, could be something that uh, 
like I said, with all the time management and all the things that you're juggling back and forth, it might be something that you're going to release that you say, you know what, I don't need this right now. I'm taking charge of my financial situation. I'm taking care of my, uh, you know, taking lead my romantic relationship, whatever it is. Um, so it does feel like whatever that is, you're going to release it um, because it doesn't seem like it's uh, really energetically it's more toxic and it's more in the way than it is actually helping you because yeah it's trying to get rid of your dove over here yeah so if there is a lot of purpose going on over here and it does feel like mm, i'm going to rejuvenate i'm going to take some time out but i'm definitely going to have to let this piece go right so that I can really, yeah, I have the strength and the strengthening bonds with the Ace of Pentacles. There is something beautiful coming in uh, for you, right? But it just feels like there was something holding you back from your spiritual freedom, from this freedom, from this Ace of Cups. And it's like, as like you're getting your Ace of Cups, you're, it's kind of like, you know, I know that this is here. And I know that this is what I want. But if I continue to keep this piece, whatever that is, it's always going to elude me into something else. It's always going to be hampering my energy. It's always going to be trying to bring me down. And you just don't want that, right? You don't want that. Yeah, judgment again. So definitely feeling like this is the judgment, the judgment call you need to make this new phase. This is where you're also going to take a rebirth because this card over here is the rebirth card. It is the death card. So, you know, it does feel like, you know what, this is the time to actually let this go. Realizing exactly what it is. Maybe you felt like it was doing this once before, but you just didn't, you know, want to let it go. Sometimes we have things, but we just don't really want to let that go or we don't know how to let it go. So taking some time out to really have a little bit of introspectiveness, probably going into Virgo mode, um, you will find exactly what it is you need. There's some kind of hidden opportunity or a powerful connection that you can see over here with the moon. And I think that you're becoming very aware with the judgment that this is, you know, that's that's what it is right there, um, right? And I can invest so much more if I don't have this here because it just seems to hold me back. It seems to make me backslide right? Absolutely. So on the strength over here, it's like all these new ideas, all this new knowledge coming your way. It's almost like as soon as you let that go, you see all these things coming towards you, right? That are so much better than what you had before. It's almost like now I can dive deeper into this situation. My hands are not as full and they're not as tied with all of these, this nonsense or this thing that's holding me back or my mind can actually get going um, without me having to feel this kind of maybe fear of this and that, right? Because sometimes the moon is also just fe uh, feeding fear. So maybe that's also what you're cutting out of your life, saying, no, you know what, I don't want to do that um, because there was nothing to really fear, but fear itself anyways. Because um, I realized, wait, wait, I got my magician. I got my ace of cups. I got the magic coming. As I'm awaiting all of the results, I still think you're awaiting all of the results from the ace of cups. But you're gaining this strength. You're realizing things are coming in more productive, right? So you're starting to notice things. You're starting to see the shift. That's really what it is, right? And it's guiding you towards the success that you're really looking for. With the Ace of Cups, clarify on the Ace of Cups. Yeah, in the knowing with the High Priestess. Yeah, it's like you're getting into the knowing. It is definitely a shift with the with the judgment card. You're becoming more sensitive about the situation as well, but I think it's also that you're trusting more within your instinct to the situation, understanding what it is you really truly want and that that was not helping. So, it, you know, instead of having this holding you back or having, yeah, feeding any kind of fear that this wouldn't happen or trying to play it overly safe, you know, especially when you said, I just put in all this action. Right? So why would I want to change anything around any of this? Right? So I'm just going to get rid of that and have my six of wands. Yeah. And you could be getting a lot of public recognition out of this situation, especially if you put yourself out there. 
Uh, maybe you were a little weary of putting yourself out into the public eye, right? And now you're realizing, wait a minute, if I do this, I'm moving towards the success that I need, the recognition, recognition, excuse me, that I need. Sometimes we kind of keep ourselves on a harness, right? Keep this harness on so that way we can keep pulling ourselves back. <laughs> um, I bet you're realizing that this is actually going to cause a more progress, progressive action as you're going and really um, bring in that victory for you. I think for something, for some of you, you knew exactly what it was to get to the magician was going to be something that you're kind of, uh, I'm not really sure, but you have to trust your instincts and rely on your intellect at the same time to guide you towards this success. Not listening so much to the monkey mind, but actually listening to, well, it's logical sense though, that if I actually did this, and it's almost like you're, you know, telling your monkey mind, shh, to be quiet, right? It is logical. Right. And it makes sense. So pretty much what you're doing is you're kind of identifying the roadblocks along the way over here to get to this victory. And what you really see, oh my gosh, that's what it is, or that's who it is, or you know what I mean? That's what's what that's what's keeping me back. And you're like, Psh, yeah, they gotta go. That has to go and it brings in the sun. There you go, ultimate rewards. And the messages and the movements and swift movement of your manifestation and the things that you want come, you know, are starting to come at you, right? So you are definitely seeing a huge shift over here. I'm um, just from getting from this one place, right, to the place that you really need. And I think a lot of it is about putting yourself out there is really what that's about. Okay, so let's grab a card over here, these angel cards, and see what they have to say. Any information coming through for the, for the beautiful Virgo, whether it's talking about this situation, whatever situation needs to be spoken about, please give us some advice. Let go of guilt. <laughs> so for some of you, it could be even a guilt trip. Like, man, if I wouldn't have done that, then this could have went so much better. Don't worry about that, right? Because then you can come to the conclusion, you know, I thought about getting rid of this a long time ago, but I kept holding on to it, right? And then you start feeling guilty. Don't worry, right? We all have our thing. So it says, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done. And trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from the past mistakes instead of beating yourself up about them. Exactly, because it's all just a learning lesson anyways. That's all it is, right? We all make mistakes and we all learn from them. It is safe for you to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive, the more resources you will have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Very beautiful messages. Love these little cards. Okay, my friends. Until next time. Peace and love. Bye-bye.